या साई या देवी हैप्पी नवरात्रस लोड्स ऑफ लव एंड ब्लेसिंग्स फ्रॉम लिटिल शिरडी टू ऑल ऑफ यू मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल नो आई कीप फास्ट वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट फास्ट्स ऑन ऑल दीज नाइन डेज एंड द फास्टिंग इज नॉट ऑफ नॉट ईटिंग फूड दैट इज जस्ट वन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट द फास्टिंग इज ऑफ इंटरनलाइजिंग अ चेंज ड्यूरिंग दीज डेज and i think it gets very special with every day that goes by there is so much uh, happening inside i speak often about the energy of ma and baba that i feel running through my spine but you know when the energy reaches your soul when you feel so merged in him and her that you don't feel a difference is there between them and yourself you know that that feeling of oneness that feeling of madness that i experience it's beautiful i have no words to express let me talk about ma as we call her parashakti as we call her durga whatever name you call her by ma is ma baba calls her parabrahmana the supreme creator the all powerful mother goddess of the cosmos the creator of the trinity brahma vishnu and mahesh parabrahma no parabrahmana he says the mother goddess because only the mother can be the creator so let us talk about this ma this devi and since we are celebrating dur you know durga puja this is the nava durga is being celebrated let's first talk about durga for those of you who know her story and for those of you who don't know about ma ma was created um to um conquer this demon called mahishasur and uh, mahishasur did a lot of tapas and he was granted a boon by brahma that no man will ever be able to kill him and brahma ji didn't realize while giving the boon that that would include all the devtas all the devas in the devlok being men could not defeat mahishasur he became more and powerful more and more bloodthirsty and so then they decided that the only way to um, you know bring an end to him would be to create the mother the devi so all the devtas got together and they took their inner shakti as agni and put it together to my knowledge what i have read there were 33 devtas there and all 33 brought brought out their inner shakti as agni and merged it together into one powerful flame and that flame became madurga each of them handed over his weapons to her so she had multiple arms and multiple hands holding weapons and she became the warrior goddess and then of course she completely emancipated mahishasur from the the face of the earth but who is durga who is this mother goddess who rides the lion what does she depict what does she stand for so while her open hair show that she is wild and furious like kali the nose ring that she wears shows that she is soft and domesticated like gauri while she rides the lion to show that she is the most powerful as she has conquered the most powerful animal the lion at the same time she holds the akshay patra which some way symbolizes her as annapurna the mother who is always wanting her children to have full tummies and the akshay patra sometimes represents her as annapurna holding the the um, food the grains inside it and then she becomes lakshmi holding wealth wealth inside it too and then she becomes uh, uh, the supreme mother holding the inner light the inner uh, um the one who grants us that inner strength and light all ways and keeps it full and overflowing materially spiritually in every way her patra is always full for us whatever we seek the mother goddess is wanting to give it so while that mother side of her comes in and then she carries madira in her hands what is madira madira is wine it is alcohol she is intoxicated in her own energies at times she drinks blood as kali so there is this mother who is everything that is you know from being strength and power and a warrior and a a a fierce form of the devi she is also the softest 
as a mother goddess the purest complacent quietest so that a uh, combination of all the devis stands as one durga like i said she has the fierceness of kali and the softness of durga of gauri all of that come together into one goddess and that becomes our mother goddess our durga and who is durga again you know all the things that we as human beings um want to annihilate we want to remove it from our system and our lives she stands against them she stands as one who has overpowered them what are the things that hold us back fear my is fearless we are mortal my is immortal we are bound in our bodies my is formless her energy form is absolutely formless stunningly formless we are bound by time she is timeless we are bound by spaces she is spaceless everything that we would want to conquer and overpower she already is that she is prakriti she is nature and if you read the first shloka of the uh, devi bhagavatam the devi purana as it is called it says kan kan me vas hai tera which means that everything that is from the tiniest most minuscule particle that exists in the cosmos to the largest that may be she is in everything and she is everything so what does that mean if she is in kan kan in every little particle in everything that exists which obviously means she exists inside each of us and uh, before i explain why i took this topic up for today you know i want to highlight one thing to all the women who are listening to to me today ma being ma being a woman herself symbolizing woman woman power manifestation of womanhood the supremest ever and and as durga uh, as shakti she has um, every swarupa that you can think of this ma is inside every creation but very powerfully so inside every woman very very powerfully i don't say she exists any lesser than a man or any lesser than a in a in a stone for that matter or or in anything that of of prakriti of nature that exists but she is a woman and but i am also a woman and you those who are listening to me today as women are also women where will she exist the strongest who does she exemplify who does she symbolize she symbolizes us she symbolizes the strength we hold inside us she symbolizes we as a combination of fierce power and patience and calmness and love and compassion and that is the epitome of woman womanhood that is us devis each woman who is hearing this message today who is listening to this message today just remember that what you see of durga as a mother goddess in the mandir is she durga i started by asking you who is durga oh well no that is just symbolic when you go and see her in the mandir durga is you i am not saying durga is inside you i am saying durga is you you have the strength to conquer the world if you want to this is the power of being a woman this is the strength of holding devi within and being that devi yourself you can hold the trishul that ma holds and cut away the cruel hands of destiny also if you want to this is the strength given to a woman by mother nature by by god by the supreme para brahmana this is what is handed over to you a mother can go to any extent for her child a wife can go to any extent for her husband a disciple can go to any extent for her guru this is the strength of a woman and i am not i am not just saying this you can do this nothing can crush you nothing can break you nothing can overpower you if you decide so if you want to consider yourself as a weak meek woman who has come into this world to suffer well you are not that you are strength yourself you are durga yourself personified with power with everything that you hold inside you only bringing out light and radiance that resplendence which is you when you forget that and and think that i can be overpowered by situations circumstances problems and destiny you make yourself weak as we celebrate 
ma during these navratras as we celebrate a woman during these navratras and more so we the saibisa family which celebrates little baby girls who have gone through their worst trauma in life we celebrate every woman every girl and so it is very important that every woman who's listening to me today realizes the presence of ma inside her the strength that you hold inside you don't let anything break you don't don't suffer in pain for any reason you have that inside you to uh, conquer all evil just as ma had done and uh, just to emphasize more on this i i want to share a story very quickly with you this comes from mythology there are various versions of the story which are available but let me share one with you so once um, brahma vishnu and mahesh uh, uh, are in devlok and and they they have a glimpse of mother goddess herself parashakti she is so beautiful so resplendent the light is so much that they can't bear the radiance they don't know how to deal with it it is beautiful brahma ji cannot handle it he just puts his head down because he can't sustain himself in that radiance vishnu ji gets you know um, ruffled he's he's he doesn't know how to deal with it again he's lost completely not knowing how to do this and then shiva is there and he's looking at her fascinated by her and and you know he can't he can't take enough of her he wants more and more of her and he he cannot he does not know how to do this so she smiles at him and she she sees how he is looking at her and how he is getting totally fascinated and drawn to her and she smiles and says ask what do you want anything of me that you like you ask i'll give it to you so shiva thinks you know with my two eyes when i'm looking at her she's so beautiful and she has a beautiful third eye on her forehead what if i ask for that third eye and then i will look at her with three eyes and then this radiance won't be too much this this light won't be too much to handle and i'll be able to see the most beautiful form of her blossoming and emerging so he says oh i want your third eye now he doesn't know what he's asking for but parashakti she knows what he's asking for she still smiles and gives her third eye to shiva and shiva very happily after receiving the eye when he opens it and looks at her she returns to ashes because that is shiva's third eye it will destroy anything that it looks at so it says in the beautiful story that she becomes vibhuti but shiva has the wisdom at that moment that he has sought her he has asked for her so she has granted that so shiva divides the vibhuti into three portions and he gives one to brahma and one to vishnu and he takes one himself and these three become their consorts later there is saraswati and lakshmi and there is parvati which they the eventually that vibhuti manifests in the form of the three devis emerging out of parashakti now what happens is the vibhuti that has come you know the emerge there after she turns to ashes is so much he gives a lot of uh, it to the two gods and takes a lot of it himself but still there is so much left down below which they cannot gather so shiva just takes a deep breath and he blows it into the air and so says the purana that all the little specks the the particles of vibhuti that were blown away they come to the mother earth and they are born as women so you are parashakti you are that essence i am that essence we were created up out of that vibhuti which is parashakti herself so every woman is her every woman has that strength so next time you feel there is something overpowering you something that is um, that you don't have control on destinies that are troubling you or or uh, your karma or your challenges remember one thing you are parashakti you are that devi you are parabrahmana yourself and you can conquer anything and everything and for all the men who are listening to me here i must share with you that sitting right below your spine is kundalini is ma shakti again so if you think that oh women are very blessed they have shakti inside well no you have as much of her inside you the same strength the same power can be drawn and that is what completes us as human beings what we talk about kundalini the shakti rising to meet her shiva is what completes our our journey as human beings if we can if within us shiva and shakti can merge together so remember that power you hold and celebrate every day it is not about fasting and not eating food it is not about chanting mantras and and uh, praying it is about bringing that inner light a blaze 
bringing that power ablaze which tells you that you are shakti yourself and on that note once again i wish you a very very happy navratri i pray to baba that he and ma bestow all their love and blessings on you and your dear ones and live breathing this shakti inside you every moment not just the navratras let her be the essence of your existence you are a woman you are shakti ya sai ya devi ya yeah.